I think I'm lucky here. I think, I think. I think. Put this little lock washer here. Now I want to make sure I'm going to have enough length. Now that I'm adding all this extra stuff to it. Now this one isn't going to be used, but I, I have it here so I can see. Uh, we're, we're, I'll tell you what, we're real close. Um, yeah, you know what I'm going to do? Oh, right there. Where'd you go? Don't be running away, Ali. You know what? Yeah. Take this off, take this off, get this off, I put a lock washer on the bottom as well, I'm going to take that one off. There. This will go on here from over there. And then this nut, we now have plenty of room for that. So what I'm going to do is just set this on here so I don't lose any of this. Because I'm not going to go over there and start that right now. And I gotta do something about that because I'm I'm not going to remember to use it because I'm used to looking up here or over there. Well, I'm going to leave right here for now. All right. Throw this out. I'm done. This is a, a spare or a backup if needed. If needed. Anyway, let's, uh, I really don't need this on here, but that could come in handy if I need to put a little light on it. Eh. So, I don't know if I had the recorder on, if I didn't, uh, because whenever I happen to label it, it changes all the labels on me. And it always does it on the coasting page. I don't know why it doesn't do it on everything else. I can identify the video, you know, title it with something <coughs> that it's related to, and then when it loads it, it comes up uh, coasty blue or something. So there's, I don't know, 50 or 60 of them. So what the hell are they, you know? So I gotta look into the uh, into the settings that I have for the coasting page. Anyhow, where I was going with this is times are gonna be off a little bit, 
uh, dates, especially weeks within. But again, I was thinking about why is it taking me so long to get this out of here. And I was thinking about this the first time around. I picked up Coasty on the 18th of April, 2022. And I, I think I've mentioned this before. I just don't know if I posted it or not. And when I was asked to work on Coasty, I was, uh, uh, I was told that order whatever you need. Okay, well, I'm not one for buying boards. I'm not a board swapper. I'd rather hunt down the part, you know, the, the actual piece that may be blown. But at this point, <clears throat> uh, not having anything on it, but I didn't know that. They said everything is there. <clears throat> Paperwork, everything you need. So I pick her up, I bring it home. Bring it in here. A little bit of excitement. And I start trying to figure out what it is that it's supposed to do, what it is that it is doing, and what did, if anybody worked on it, what did they do? Because I didn't know anything at this point. Now I'm looking through the paperwork. There's no schematic, so to speak. There's a couple of block diagrams. You know, this plugs into here for that. This plugs into here for that. But it doesn't give me anything on the board as far as the parts. You know, where they're going, where they're doing, what their, you know, what their role is. So everything starts, got to start tracing things with meters. You're chasing ohms and you're chasing voltages, and, but not knowing exactly what's going on. You know, and not having anything, it's one of those things to where you got to kind of figure it all out. Then, trying to figure out how to get to the board, because the main board was in this box, which it still is, about yay by yay by about yay, which is underneath the top that you can't get to. You're lucky you can see part of it when the top is on it, which was kind of a piss poor design. Um, and then at that point, okay, what do I got to do to get the top off? You don't want to just start unscrewing things and bending and cutting and snapping and breaking, so you got to kind of be easy with it. So the first two, three weeks was just me, uh, two weeks, give or take, you know how I am with time, uh, was me kind of like just trying to figure things out. Um, and then I called Kim, and I said to her, Kim, can you, who worked on this thing? I said, Where's the schematic? Any paperwork? And they said everything was here. And she said, it is. She says, you know, I said, that's a block diagram. That's not a schematic. That just says, you know, if you want this to work, plug it in this here, you know. Uh, uh, plug it in one, plug it in A, you know, that type of thing. But... Um, you know, I'm, I'm down to board level repair here. You know, I'm not a board swapper, like I said. And I don't know if she... Well, you know, I said, well, who worked on it? Maybe they... Well, I don't know. It was three or four people, she said, that looked at it. <sighs> okay, so now, what did they do? You, you know what I mean? You know. Um, so, again, now we're getting into the month passing. And I said, well... If it's just little things, if it's just little things, um, you know, like resistors, diodes, stuff like that, capacitors, they're cheap, you know. Two bucks here, a buck there, 80 cents, 40 cents, stuff like that. So if that's the case, you know, I'll, I'll eat that, you know, and, and, you know, because a couple weeks into this, uh, about three or four weeks into it, I sat down for coffee and I was told, stop working on Coasty, there's no budget. 
Well, by that time, I had things taken apart. So now what do you do? What I'm looking for, well, I'll find it and I'll show it to you. All the little parts that came with this thing, you know, with all these little boards and all these little transmitters and all these little things, were all screwed up. I mean, they were rusted out. They were, they were just, they were, I'm not going to say they're beyond repair, but they were really close to it to where it probably would have taken a while for instance one of them the crystal was rotted right through couldn't even identify it okay so what channel are we transmitting on or receiving on All right. the switch rotted right out forever to figure it out uh, I called the company and gave them the model number of the unit that needed the crystal and I said what and I'm talking to their tech support <clears throat> tech support usually has a pretty idea what's going on I said to them what frequency is this thing on because I need to order a crystal oh why don't you just order a new piece well why should I spend 70 bucks for a new piece if I can buy it and just spend you know Ten bucks for a crystal, you know. Oh, oh! Well, now you really don't know what it is. Oh, okay. I call him back to find out about a switch. The main switch. What about the switch? Hmm. Can you give me the wiring on it? Because somebody had apparently rewired it, or taken it apart and didn't put it back just the way that it was supposed to. It put it back together apparently wrong. Uh, no, I don't know what the wiring is. I don't know what the wiring is. No, I don't know what the wiring is. But you buy a new switch. Well, if I don't know what the wiring is, why do I want to buy a new switch? I'm not going to know what the new wiring is on that one. Well, that may have what you need. Well, if that's going to have what I need, why don't you just look at the box and tell me what it is? Oh, well, we really haven't got them here. I mean, it was just one excuse after another. Basically, just buy the damn switch at $25, which is only like a maybe a $6 switch. You yeah. know, I don't want to just say, okay, uh, this is going to be fine. You know, yeah, there's one of the pictures. Now, if you look at the pictures prior to that, before I did the body work, you'd swear that's not the same unit, really. If I can, I'll put these in part of the video. Yeah. All right, listen, I'm just rattling off here. Everything I'm saying you've heard before. Time to go in.